Hi everybody! So, I was at the International Grocery Store today and I found something super cool, so I thought I'd make a video about it. I'm going to make sushi, but rather than the normal kind of sushi which I make, which is the maki rolls, I'm going to be making the infamous triangular shaped nigiri sushi. Um, I found this kit at the grocery store, which is a mold. Um, because my previous attempts at nigiri have been less than triangular and uh, the nori, the sushi wrap, uh, which is sort of double wrapped in plastic, just the way you find it at the convenience store, so that the next day, you can make it the night before, and then the next day when you open it up, you can peel off the plastic in a specific way, and your nori, your seaweed, is not disgusting and soggy. Um, this is what we will be making today. So ingredients list. We need some sushi rice. Excuse me. Um, this is a special kind of short grain uh, white rice. Um, this this container actually I bought a long time ago. Now I make so much sushi that I buy uh, five pound bags of it. Um, I like Philadelphia rolls, so I'm making. Uh, so I bought some cream cheese, uh, salmon, uh, this is a frozen patty, generally I, I uh, steam them, I just don't like the texture of raw fish, I mean it tastes pretty good but I don't like the texture so I steam it, and some avocados, uh, for those of you who don't know, I will impart my fancy-tastic knowledge, which is that your avocado should be deep green and slightly squishy. Um, ripe when soft. That's not a lie. So, those are the ingredients. Uh, you will also need a little spatula. You will need a bowl. I always take some paper towels because I'm messy. Um, and then you will need your nori. I'm using this fancy kit. Um, and you will need to cook your rice. So those are the ingredients. Your avocados, your salmon, your cream cheese, your rice, and your nori. The first step is to cook your rice. Uh, depends on your rice cookers. Instructions, I have a microwave rice cooker, which I bought at the container store. Basically, it's like a four-quart Tupperware that has one of those lids that, that you can flick open, that has a little hole that you can flick open. Um, you put in one cup of sushi rice, and then you boil some water and put in two cups of boiling water, and then you stick it in the microwave for 14 minutes, and then you take it out of the microwave, you put the lid on, and you flick the top, and you leave it there for four minutes, and you end up with actually really well done rice. Um, if you have like a just a generic four quart Tupperware, you can do that, and it's it's perfect every time. At least in my experience. Um, if you have a rice cooker, use that. If you don't have either of those things, I hear that there's a way that you can make it in just like a four quart saucepan. But I've tried that a couple of times and it didn't work for me. Now, I have no cooking skills, so you may find that that works eventually for you. Um, but I'm sure there are other videos on the internet for that. So my rice is cooking right now. Um, after your rice is cooked, after those four minutes, um, you put it in a bowl. Please make sure it is a wooden bowl or a plastic bowl. Do not use a metal bowl because of the heat absorbing properties. Um, so you put it in your, you dish it out into your bowl. Um, you can put something called mirin, M-I-R-I-N, on it, which is a flavoring. Um, and then instead of stirring it, you sort of slice it. If you stir the rice too much, it gets way too sticky. So you sort of slice it and then like turn it over once or twice, and then you're done. Um, like I said, I steam my salmon. So that'll be next for me. And then I chop up my cream cheese and then slice open your avocado and 
and uh, slice those and peel out the skin. So I'm going to go do that and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so the rice is done. As you can see, that looks delicious. It's still a little bit warm, but I used to have a bowl that was really perfect. It was a little bit wider than this, sort of shallow, so it dried off, it uh, cooled down quicker, but unfortunately I used that bowl so much that I broke it. Um, and here we have other ingredients. The salmon, which I steamed, the cream cheese, which I sliced up, and then the avocado, which I completely forgot a spoon for. There we go. Uh, they sell like fancy avocado slicers, but I don't know why, because all you do is slice it in half, remove the pit, and then slice it with your knife. And then all you have to do is take a little spoon and scoop it out. I don't know why you would spend the money for a slicer. I guess unless you have difficulty with knives. At any rate, there we go. Avocado parts. So, here's the mold. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't speak or read indeed any Korean. I tried to find a Japanese version of the kit, but that was unavailable. So, there's the little mold parts, and it even has like a texture. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe a little bit. It has like a texture on it, and on the inside too. I don't know why. And then here is the nori itself. Slice right through. And it comes packed on like a little cardboard. So, here's what you're getting. Uh, ten sheets of that, by the way, which is a lot. That's about two or three days worth of sushi dinner as far as I'm concerned. Um, here's the top part with the instructions on it, sorry, on how to actually open the thing. There's a little pictures in case you're having trouble with the numbers or you don't you know, it's the first time we don't know what to do. This is the back part. This is what we'll be building our our actual sushi on. So, get this out of the way here. You take your little sushi. This part goes down. Go. And then you take the mold. Uh, it doesn't have a top or a bottom. Oh wait, it does! does have, I don't know if you can see that at all, but it has like a line right here, like a fill line almost. It even says right there, up. So, there you go. Make sure that your triangle top is pointing up there. And you put some rice in it. <laughs> it says on the instructions, uh, fill it up one-third of the way. So. There you go. And you put your toppings on. So, there's a nice big cut. There are slunk of avocado. And pardon my fingers, I'm the one who's going to be eating this one. Uh, nice, sizable salmon chunk there. And then you put rice up the rest of the way. Sloppy over here. Mm, sushi rice, nom. Excuse me. 
go. Then you take what I do with the lid and press down. You know, and then you lift up this outer part. And then you sort of slide this off. And there you go. Look at that. That's pretty fancy, huh? Then you fold this part up. Whoops, as you can see, mine is a little bit. If we can do this. There we go. Mine was a little bit too far down. So you put your top up here, you fold over your sides. Then you fold your other sides back up here, like this, and like this, and then they included stickers, so, oops, excuse me, you have to be smarter than the sticker, there we go. You take your little sticker there, and you take your little sticker here. There you go. And there you have, mine's not wrapped very prettily because this is my first one. <laughs> there you go. There's a little Konbini Sushi. When you put the stickers on, be sure not to put them in the middle here, because the first step is to pull that all off, and then you pull this out, and then you pull this out. I'll show you in a little while, but <clears throat> let's try that again, shall we? So, this part down, put your mold so that the top of the triangle matches the top of that. Stick in some sushi rice. <laughs> Spread it around so it gets you know everywhere. There we go. And put in your toppings. It's uh, cream cheese, avocado, and nice chunk of salmon. Oh, that looks delicious. I'm hungry now. And then put in, whoopsie, sorry. I'm really good at making a mess. There we go. Take your lid, press down, and then lift your mold, and then remove the lid. That's probably why it's textured, so it's easier to remove. I don't know why I didn't think of that until just now. Put your side one up, fold, and then fold up. And then sticker. These stickers, I swear. Is this like the test to see if you qualify to eat the sushi? <laughs> Honestly, there we go. There we go. Well, that one looks a little bit better, huh? That one's cute. There we go. That is super cute. There we go. That's what mom and I are going to be eating tomorrow. 
Uh, we have a long choir practice tomorrow, and that's what we're going to be eating. So, um, yeah, there it is. Okay, so, there they are. Aren't they so, whoops, that one's upside down. There we go. Aren't they so adorable? Okay. Um, I used, I made, actually I made seven of them. The kit makes ten. I don't even, I can't, why, who would eat ten nigiri? Like, I'm sharing with my mom, and I'm sure that six is going to be, like, at least two too many for us. Um, in my experience, these are really filling. Uh, for those of you who are interested, they're usually between 150 and 200 calories, depends on what you put in them. I'm sure since I have sour cream in mine, it's an avocado, it's going to be more like 200 calories each. Um, but yeah, two of them is, is pretty filling. Um, and especially when you have something to drink, usually you take one and you have something to drink and you have like a little snack on the side, so you have like, it's like a sandwich almost. Um, so I used all of my rice, which was one cup of rice. I used maybe three quarters of my block of cream cheese, uh, which is awesome. I used only about half of my salmon, which I feel kind of bad about, but I'm going to eat the rest of that probably plain. And I only used about a quarter of my avocado, which gets on my nerves because as a matter of fact, I bought two. I don't know, maybe I'll send one home with my sister. She's obsessed with avocado. Um, and I still have, like I said, I made seven of them, so I still have three of the sheets left. Um, it seems to me like this would be really awesome if you make maki rolls and you eat the maki that night. This is what I usually do, is I make four or five maki rolls at a time. And then I put them in a Tupperware and I eat the other ones the next day, but it's always a little weird because the the rice is getting a bit stale and the sushi is kind of damp. So I think this might help sort of prevent that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to make the two maki rolls for dinner that night and then the rest of the rice I can use to make these and then I can take these with me to lunch the next day. Um, these are just so convenient. And they come in a little, like, folder, so you can sort of keep them. I'm sure they don't expect people to make all ten of them at once. I don't know what sort of dinner party you're having, but <laughs> I can't even imagine someone eating ten of them at once. Um, so there they are. Unfortunately, it doesn't say how much rice they really expect you to make. Um, but like I said, I made one cup of rice and it was enough for seven of them. So, no, that's a full American cup, not like one of those three quarters cup rice cups. Um, some, usually your rice cooker in Japan comes with a one cup scoop, but it's actually like what we in America would consider three quarters of a cup. It's one rice cup, which is like three quarters of a cup. So about a cup and a half, I think would probably make all 10 of those. So, one rice cup, which would be three quarters of an American cup, uh, would probably make about five. Um, like I said, half of that filet, just a quarter block of, of, cut of cream cheese, and uh, just like one sort of really tiny avocado would be enough. Um, and this is just plastic, so you can just, you know, wash that. Uh, it doesn't... It doesn't say anywhere if it's dishwasher safe or anything. Maybe it does in Korean. I just can't read Korean. But at any rate, so there it is. Um, I thought that I would give a little demonstration on how to open them. So, one, pull. Two, pull. This one's a little tough. Oh no! Oh no! It's taking the rice with it. There we go. <laughs> and three, pull. Ah. It's taking the rice with it. Come on. There we go. Don't be like that. There we go. 
There we go. <laughs> so as you can see, mine split down the middle, but hopefully yours won't do that. Uh, then you just take the, the rice, the nori rather, and you wrap it around like that, and you wrap it around like that. And there you go, you can eat it now. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they do make um, nori that's pre-flavored with soy sauce. Because this is kind of hard to dip. But um, that's not the kind that I got. I got just the regular flavor. So, for those of you who are interested and have a, uh, an international grocery store in the area, Sam Hay, I guess. I'm sure there are other companies. But there it is. Give it a shot. Um, I'm off to watch some anime and, you know, speak some Japanese. Jamata.